Well, for more on the emergence of Ashwad Bola Ahmed Jinubu as the APC presidential candidate, let's speak with a strategist and leadership development consultant, John Ekundai, who joins us live in the studio. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Yeah, thank you, Abbas Sede, for having me. Well, days and hours to this special convention of the APC, there appeared to be a lot of uncertainty and some confusion, actually, about the consensus candidate or how it would actually be... The emergence of Ashwa Dutinubu, did you see it coming? Well, for me as um, a strategist, uh, you know, I give it to Ashwa Jibola Metinubu as a master strategist. I could see it coming. And I have been writing on this uh, for the past one and a half years or so in my column in the Nations newspaper uh, about, you know, the master stroke, you know, of all living politicians in Nigeria today. Give it to Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu when it comes to political strategy. Give it just to him. And uh, it's not what we saw happen, uh, that happened today. Of course, the convention started on Monday. But, you know, community in the victory of today, it's uh, been something that has been planned, strategized for some few years. You know, all along. Let me, even, let, let me not just put the word a few years. For some years, you know. And, uh, you know, the modern politician or today's politician need to learn, especially the young one, the aspiring ones. Now, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, you know, last head office, mm -hmm. if you agree with me, 2007, as a former governor of Lagos State, you know, he's supposed to go to the Senate. He, you know, he, he, he's like, he just left that and gave to somebody else to go. Why he remained at the own base and started building the party? AC then, and then it became ACN. You know, so building that party, it, before it was localized as, oh, it's just for the uh, Yorubas. But then reaching out to other regions like that, like that, and then it came to 2013 when, you know, ACN had to uh, join forces with APGA, you know, part of uh, the, the PDP, the new PDP, you know, like that, and, you know, were, were able to, uh, CPC, and they were able to come together to form the All Progressive Congress. So, it, and then it was not, I remember at that particular time, that it was decided that, look, informing this party, nobody is coming to the table, bringing any ambition. I want to be chairman, I want to be presidential candidate. Mm. You know, because the opposing uh, party, you know, the main party, I mean, the ruling party then, PDP was saying, oh, these are all strange bad fellows. They will soon scatter, you see. But here we are today, uh, APC is waxing strong. And uh, for me, I yes. could see this coming. Right. So in strategically. A so in a nutshell, it's been in the works for a really long time. And that made us see seven aspirants step down for him in the course of that convention. Yes, uh, for me, I, I, I could see that happening because uh, Ashwaju is somebody who has invested a lot, you see, among Nigerian politicians living, you know, apart from the leadership of Afemi Aulo, who raised up so many people, you know, Give it to Ashwa Jubala Metinubu. Of course, we cannot be naming uh, names of people here today. Is it the speaker you know, of the House of Rep? You, know, uh, you could see mm -hmm. you know, Ashwa Jus, even in his welcome address, talking about the Senate president, which I don't want to go to here. Is right. it because he, he was somebody that invested in <laughs> and many other people, not just of the Yoruba extraction or Southwest extraction, okay. many people all over Nigeria. So it's a project of years. If, if, it's, if you are in the school of politics of Ashwaju and you have been following his footsteps, you have been following his pedigree, you have been following his antecedent, he's somebody who is a racer of men, you know, racing up men. And for him, he said, well, I prepare for betrayal. I prepare for anything because I know human beings, just like in his speech today, human beings can just be whatever they want to be at any time. Indeed. And going into next year's election, you've mentioned he's a raiser of people. How do you see him further uniting the APC family and the entire Nigerian nation so the party can claim victory in next year's election? I'm very positive about this. Is he okay? Now, uh, you know, in, in Yoruba line, it will be said that look at the match. And when you look at the match, you know, uh, you know turn into a flame, then you can begin to look at the power of, you can observe what is in the power of a sham or amulet. In the Yoruba, we say ETB, Shanaki, Esogu. Now, when you look at Lagos State, Lagos State is a, is, a, is a kind of a miniature Nigeria where you have all tribes coming together. 
and you could see the eight years of the two term, you know, that Ashwa Jibola Ametinubu was governor in Lagos State. Look at the cabinet. Just look at the cabinet, you see, and you could see array of people, not just who are Lagosians, but people that are not, not even just from the Southwest. You know, that's the heart that he has, large heart. So I think Nigeria should be rejoicing that we're having somebody who has a broad mind, one, to gather people together, two, to identify talents. Once you can solve the problem, once you can bring solution to the table, Ashiwaju is for you. It doesn't right. matter whether you are Kanuri or you are Bibio or you are Yoruba or you are Usa or you are Fulani. And that is one thing that we should look at. We need such at this time. All right. And the election is just about eight months away. I must sincerely appreciate you for joining us and sharing your thoughts with us at uh, this time. John Ekundaya, strategist and leadership development consultant. Thank you. Thank you, Abosedi, for having me. Thank you.